Beetlejuice is acting weird again. What's going on? Since 2019, Beetlejuice has left us in a state of will it or won't it ambiguity. It's time to figure out what's going on with that star. The red giant has risen from the 10th brightest star to the 7th, prompting rumors of a potential supernova. Could an extraordinary astronomical phenomenon be imminent? However, there is more. This supernova will be so significant that it will dominate the news for weeks and not just astronomers will be enthusiastic. The entire planet will be discussing it. Do you want to know why? Continue to view this video. Betelgeuse is far enough away that we don't even need to be concerned about its potentially detrimental effects. So that we may view the performance from the convenience of our balconies. Let's recall a few Betelgeuse-related details, as well as what transpired in 2019 and what's been happening recently. And if you linger a little longer, you can even discover with us the largest and most powerful cosmic explosion discovered to date. Betelgeuse Properties Betelgeuse is a youthful star, having only 10 million years of age. Comparatively, our Sun is approximately 5 billion years old. However, its youth does not imply that it will enjoy a long life. Betelgeuse is extremely colossal and consumes its material much more rapidly than the Sun. It is expected to expire much sooner than the Sun, and its mass is sufficient to transform it into a neutron star or a black hole upon its demise. You'll be astonished to learn that Betelgeuse has not always been a red giant. Betelgeuse is a unique type of star that is unlike the majority of others, particularly considering that it was once a real monster. It was once a blue-white O-type star, which is the most massive form of star. These stars consume their hydrogen extremely quickly. The Sun, which is billions of years elder, is not even halfway through its hydrogen-burning lifetime. Betelgeuse's spectral type has changed because its hydrogen supply is nearly depleted. Now, the red giant is fusing helium into carbon and oxygen, and has grown to be approximately 764 times the Sun's size and 16.5 to 19 times as massive. If we replaced it with the star in our solar system, it would extend beyond Jupiter's orbit. It will eventually run out of fuel, undergo a supernova, and shed its outer layers, leaving behind a neutron star. Scientists were aware that the star would eventually erupt in a supernova, but it could take another 100,000 years. By February 2020, the star had lost two-thirds of its normal luminosity as seen from Earth, which began in 2019. What occurred then? Great Diminishment 2019 Recap Scientists investigated the unusual dimming and determined that it was not the result of an impending supernova, but rather a massive dust cloud that had obscured a portion of the star's light. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, they discovered that the dust cloud was caused by a massive ejection from the surface of the star. It resulted in a shock that ejected a portion of the star's surface 400 million times larger than those typically observed in the Sun's coronal mass ejections. In the history of astronomy, this phenomenon has never before been observed. In fact, scientists are observing the evolution of stars in real time. The new research also incorporated information from various data categories to construct a narrative of the explosion and its aftermath. The eruption blew off a portion of the star's lower atmosphere, known as the photosphere, leaving behind a cool area that was obscured by the resulting dust cloud. This neat patch of dust and cloud is the cause for the dimming of Betelgeuse's luminescence. According to scientists, the star is still experiencing the aftermath of this event. Prior to this, Betelgeuse exhibited a 400-day cycle of dimming and brightening. But that cycle had vanished, or so we believed for a time. So what is happening now? What is different? New Explorations some may state that their hopes of witnessing a supernova in their lifetime have been rekindled due to the star's recent strange behavior. The star's luminosity has increased by up to 150% above its average brightness, making it increasingly difficult to find explanations based on what we currently understand about stellar evolution. Why, then, are we so astonished by Betelgeuse's long and erratic history of fluctuating brightness? 
The only plausible explanation for Betelgeuse's rapid luminosity increase is that its 400-day cycle has been halved. This pulsation cycle is essentially our observation of the star's expansion and contraction. We have discovered that a convective plume inside the star may be causing material to split away from it, disrupting its 400-day cycle and replacing it with a 200-day cycle. This disturbance may be associated with the recent extreme dimming of Betelgeuse. Consider it like cutting a piece out of a cake, everything else begins to shift and does not return to its original position. The team of experts studying the variable star, however, believes that it will ultimately return to normal and live in peace for a very long time. Supernovae Explosions How will we know if an explosion is imminent? The first indication of the supernova will be a surge of ghostly neutrinos illuminating detectors around the world. Let's go into details. Did you know there are two varieties of supernovae? Type 1 supernovae occur when a white dwarf star rips material from a companion star until it explodes, and sends debris hurtling through space. His was a type 1 star. The second type of supernova, known as type 2 or a core collapse supernova, occurs when a star runs out of nuclear fuel, collapses under its own gravity, then bounces and causes an explosion. Both types of supernovae can be extremely bright and outshine an entire galaxy, but type 2 supernovae are more fascinating because they emit a large number of neutrinos, and they are the focus of this video. Neutrinos are particles that can begin to be emitted prior to the actual supernova detonation. If a star is close enough, it may be possible to observe these early neutrinos prior to the detonation. For instance, if the red giant star Betelgeuse were to go supernova on us, we could detect its neutrinos hours or even days before the explosion became visible. This is how we know that it won't erupt arbitrarily at any time. When a galactic supernova occurs and its neutrinos reach Earth, the snooze system will alert astronomers automatically. Today, they are developing SNUS 2.0, which will pinpoint the supernova's location in the sky even more precisely. The system will utilize data from seven distinct neutrino detectors around the world to assist optical instruments in obtaining a closer look. How amazing is that? Updates on Cosmic Explosion News Betelgeuse is not the only news regarding supernovae, and essentially, the situation is becoming increasingly bizarre. Permit me to alter your perspective, depart from the topic, and tell you about a recent detonation that we were able to detect. But not any ordinary detonation, a cosmic one. The detonation known as AT2021 LWX occurred more than three years ago and is ongoing. Comparable to a fireball, it is 100 times the magnitude of our solar system. The scientists who made this discovery believe that the detonation was caused by a supermassive black hole disrupting a gigantic cloud of gas thousands of times larger than our sun. Due to the rarity of the detonation, it is still being investigated as to how and why it occurred. The University of Southampton scientists who lead the investigation dubbed the explosion Scary Barbie due to its energy levels. The explosion was initially unknown until it was detected by astronomers at the Zwicky Transient Facility in California. Since then, it has been investigated by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, in Hawaii. Approximately 8 billion light-years from Earth, the detonation occurred when the universe was only 6 billion years old. You may be perplexed as to why it only occurred 3 years ago, but make the tally. The universe is 13.7 billion years old, the Big Bang occurred 6 billion years ago, and it took 8 billion years for its illumination to reach us. The researchers believe the eruption is much too bright to be a supernova, which typically lasts a few months before fading. It is approximately 2 quadrillion times brighter than the Sun, and astronomers are perplexed because they have never seen anything like it. There are significant differences between AT2021 LWX and quasars which are caused by supermassive black holes consuming plasma. AT2021 LWX began abruptly flaring up from nothing, and it is still blazing away. Quasars tend to fluctuate in brightness, whereas AT2021 LWX began suddenly flaring up from nothing and is still flaring up. The explosion's intensity cannot be explained by a tidal disruption event, which occurs when a star is pulled into a black hole. 
Now that scientists know what to look for, they intend to examine the skies to determine if other explosions of a similar nature have been overlooked. We may be on the verge of making new and thrilling discoveries. So there you have it, everyone. Betelgeuse is still behaving strangely, and we have no idea why, but we do know that when it goes supernova, we're in for a spectacular show. And if that wasn't enough, there's also Scary Barbie, the cosmic eruption that is still popular three years later. Who knows what additional marvels the universe has in store? Undoubtedly, we will keep a watch on the sky and be prepared for anything. Until next time, keep gazing up. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more entertaining and educational content about the universe. Don't hesitate to share your queries and opinions with us.